Hey, man. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem. What, what's up? <sighs> uh, I got a question for you. I'm going to... Uh... Do I have asshole written on my forehead? No. no? Or, actually, okay. yeah, no. You're oh, right. I do? There is I a do? bit of asshole on there, yeah. There is a bit of asshole. How'd I look? <laughs> no, you're good. What's wrong? I feel like a dick every time I, I come to you and I'm like, hey, look, I'm... I'm because I know, I know she's right. Like, I know she's right. And we've had this conversation before too. Like you, you've talked to me and you've been like, yeah, she's right. Like, I don't think, you know, it's about Katie. You know, it's about yeah. Katie. I love her to death. I love her so fucking much. All right. And I want to make that she's the best girlfriend ever. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Best thing that ever will happen to me. But I want to make it very clear. Have I ever been right about anyone? Because I don't think I have honestly there's moments but, but what, moments. what's going on <laughs> moments. okay yeah. all right oh fuck okay um so okay well i can't you didn't hear this you didn't hear this from me okay, okay. you didn't hear this from me okay so she asked me to move in with her oh wow right? yeah it's great it's awesome that's awesome and like i yeah and she, I said yes, of course, because I'm like, yeah, of course I went, your fucking apartment is awesome. Her my apartment is awesome and her apartment is better. So of fucking course, I Hell have yeah. been with her. Yes, exactly. She makes more money than me. So of course, yeah, there's that too. But um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but basically she's like, I, she has said to me, I feel like there's some sort of like discomfort that I have with it. She said that she said there's, how do I fucking rib? Oh my God. Um, you're uncomfortable, right? Like that's why she, you're calling. Well, I didn't, I didn't think I was uncomfortable, but she think, seems to think that I'm like super uncomfortable about the whole thing. And I'm like, well, what, what, what the fuck am I going to do? Like I said, yes. Like what was I supposed to do? I didn't hesitate either. Like, I don't know. Like I, she seems to think that I'm like being erotic and stuff like that. Like I've asked a couple of questions. I'm like, like, so like, you know, like, am I going to be, you know, close to the subway? Cause I might need to go downtown. Cause you know, there's like publishing offices downtown and whatnot. And like, you know, like there's agencies yeah. I'm trying to get in contact with and send them my scripts and all that stuff. And, you know, I've, I've been working on that uh, short story collection and, you know, I want to like make sure um you know moving uh, yeah. in with her it. okay yeah oh, oh wilson like can't you figure this out once you're moved in together like that'd be a little easier but yeah no yeah uh, yes of course of course but like i just i i don't know like i'm gonna move in with her of course i want to move in yeah. with her. absolutely okay but like i don't know i just wanted to ask a couple questions because yes i'm okay you know what yeah i'm a little I'm nervous about my career. Of course, I'm a Virgo. I can be nervous about shit. All right, I'm allowed to be neurotic. Oh, God again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm allowed to be neurotic. I'm allowed to do what I want. So okay, That's I just got, yeah. I asked a few questions, and then she is like, "You're being, you know, really uncomfortable and all of that." I'm like, you know what? Like, I just I feel like it's always comes back to I'm uncomfortable about my future and i'm like well obviously obviously i'm not going to be super comfortable with it because i'm a fucking artist and it's like that sounded really pretentious but i'm an artist and i want to I, I don't want to be a starving artist you know have you just told her that though that you're uncomfortable and like you have some concerns well i didn't think that i was uncomfortable so i didn't tell her that no and i should have told her that that yeah. might have helped a little bit but okay <sighs> Wilson, what's just, the worst case? What's the worst case scenario? Like, I don't know, man. You can I always just, go back. You can always move somewhere else or work together on getting somewhere else, you know? Like, but like, this is just a step to really make life a little easier for the relationship. I just feel like this is where like artists go to die. That's what I'm nervous about. Like, yeah. I feel like artists who like are like, okay, I got to get a full time job or I got to do this and this and this and this and this and I got to. You know, it, it's it's it feels like it's settling down, and then it's like, oh, I'm I'm working a full time job now, so now it's like I'm gonna go and uh, go to work, and I'm going to 
I'm going to write after work, but then I get home from work and I'm just tired. And I'm like, okay, well, like I got to go grocery shopping. I got to clean. I got to do this and I got to do that. And then it's like, well, now I, now I don't have any of this. And this is just like, now I don't have any time to myself. Now I don't have any time to myself to do uh, the stuff that I love or to do the stuff that I want to do. And then it's getting me one step closer to having to say, I can't do this anymore with the thing that I love, which is going to make me a fucking angry, resentful person. And I'm like, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like, I don't like that side of me. And I, I, I really, fuck man. I don't want that to be, I don't want Katie to be on the receiving end of that. I don't, I don't want that. So you don't see any way that like living together will make it easier to make your art be more inspired with her I don't, or even I, just just take one one other worry out of the bag you know you just you get to spend time together after work or whatever and well it's the thing man like i love i love her man i love her so much and like i want to move in with her like when she said do you want to move in i'm like yeah of course i want to move in of course i want to do that because i do of course i want to move in with her <sighs> i'm getting fucking old though man I'm 26, man, and I, I, I don't think I'm. I think I am getting to an age where it's like you know you gotta start doing this shit young, and I haven't I haven't made anything for myself, and I'm getting fucking. I I mean, 30 is still a little bit away, but I'm I'm getting, I'm getting fucking close, man. I, I feel think, like the clock is ticking a little bit. I don't think moving in with Katie is gonna slow that down. You know, I don't think that moves you further from. <laughs> I I think you have a point, but a goal. Yeah. But I get yeah. where she's coming from a bit. <laughs> I think we all know where she's coming from. I think I'm the I'm the issue here. I think that's the problem. No, no, it's all right. Maybe just I don't know. Maybe it'll pass. You'll you'll settle into it. It'll be good. Just get your um, mind off it for something. Are you uh Usually she's pretty patient with this kind of stuff. Yeah. But we got into a fight at dinner and like, I just didn't want to talk about it. I just, you know, I'm like, look, well, I, don't know, man. I just, I just wanted to talk about it later. I just didn't want to talk about it right there. She wanted me to talk about my issues. She thought I was having issues and I don't know. We just got into an argument. And she basically just said, you know, like, look, um, until you're ready to like be real and whatnot, like I, I, I'm not talking to you right now you know wow and you know like i said it pisses me off because i know that she's right she's gonna be right i know i'm wrong you know i don't exactly know how i'm wrong but i know that i'm wrong and i don't know man. it's just I, I don't fuck. i don't think she's i don't think she's gonna slow down your heart man you know yeah. living together is not going to get in the way yeah i think there's something else there that's bugging you though i don't know i know what it is you're kind of you don't you don't exactly wear it all on your chest but yeah i think there's more to it than that so you need to think about that <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's exactly what she said i gotta think about <laughs> it i gotta think about it too yeah. how long have you got how long has it been since you spoke was that today that was today. It was today. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not happy with it, man. I'm just like. Oh, fuck. Well, there's nothing you can do today. I think. I think right now you can only make it worse if you're gonna do anything, even just thinking about it. You think I should get my mind off of it? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Are you? Uh, are you right. seeing Cody? Have you seen Cody's show today? That's sick. Come on. He's doing another one of those. Yeah, it's sick. Oh, God, it's I don't good, know. Man. I think it's look. He's a nice guy and everything. I think he might be a little up his own ass. Yeah, but people who are up their own ass make great music. <laughs> and he's a good guy. Come on. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I need to be more up my own ass. I think you're firmly pretty far up there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I, Come on, let's go to the show. Let's let's watch the live stream. We can be on a call while we watch it or something. I'm not really feeling it. I don't know. Uh, man. All right, you're lost. I know. I know. 
I'll let you know if I change my mind. Maybe I'll check it out. Like, I don't know, but yeah, I I don't know, man. I think. So are you gonna be think, gonna stew about it all night then? No, 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 no. I I think if I watch his show, I'm gonna be jealous, and I don't like being jealous, and I hate that. I hate being fucking jealous, and I, it's some re some reason I get fucking jealous watching his show. But anyway, I think. I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'll do is I'll sit down, I'll watch some YouTube, I'll watch some sketch comedy, I'll get some shit off my mind, I'll watch some videos, I'll relax, I'll, you know, listen to some music. Maybe I will go to Cody's live stream. I don't know. Maybe I will. Okay. But come on. I maybe, maybe I will. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Okay. Go but on. um, I, yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll take your advice. I'll get my mind off of it. I'll get my head straight. I'll relax. I just, I hate to admit it. I always hate to admit it. I always hate to admit when she's right. I hate it. I love her, but I hate being wrong all the time. It's the worst. You got a, you got a smart girlfriend, man. Like she's I do. Right. I do. That's what it's, it's good. Dude, I'm going to be able to pay taxes. Like no problem in the future. <laughs> she, she's going to be able to understand how to do that shit. You know? Yeah. I need her advice too. <laughs> I'll give you her number. You have her number, okay. so there you go. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. I think there's something bugging me that I don't I don't understand. But um, I got to tell you, man. There, one thing that sucks is that I'm always freaking out about the art thing. I'm always freaking out about the writing thing, thinking oh, I'm not no. good enough, and all of that. I think what's starting to bug me is I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm not even a good boyfriend either. No. I don't know, man. We, we just, we're fighting all the time. Like, all the time. It's always something about me. It's always something I'm doing. And now she wants to move in with me. And even though I love her, I'm causing problems. And I'm just wondering, like, What's what's the fucking idea here? Like, why why am I so neurotic about art? Why am I such a pain in the ass to my girlfriend? You know, like, what am I doing here? You know, I don't know, man. <sighs> You're a good guy, though. I just have to figure out. I just got to figure it out. Yeah. All right. Well, I love you, man. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for talking to me. I will maybe go to Cody's live stream. I might. I'll tell him you say hi, okay? Okay. All right. All right. I, all right. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, man. All right. I'll hop on. All right. See you. Take it easy. Take it easy. And we now return to a teen comedy from the early 2000s. Whoa! There are no uh, nerds allowed at my party. What? You're not a nerd? Uh, you got braces, you got glasses, you button your shirt all the way up to the top. I'm sorry, am I slurring my words? I've been drinking beer all night with my bros, all right? Yo, Brochino. Brochino. Brochino, get the get the keg, get the keg, bring it out here. We like to handle uh, nerds a little differently around here. We like to uh, submerge them underwater in beer against their will and bring them within basically an inch of their life. That's that's kind of just like this crazy little thing that we like to do. We don't like nerds, okay? What? What you? Oh, oh, you? Oh, eh, 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 eh. that's what you sound like. I couldn't hear you over the stutter that you have. You were born that way. 
You're not just doing that for fun? I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was like an actual condition. I thought I thought you guys were just being really stupid, but I... Okay, for that one, I apologize. Look, guys, I feel bad about the stutter comment. Let's make it up to you, okay? Let's make it up to you. I'll get my bro nut sack. Think of, yeah, that's right, nut sack, okay? Yo, nut sack! Nut sack, let me in. Nut sack, you're fucking embarrassing me in front of the nerds. Come on, dude. Okay, David, whatever. Just kind of jamming together and uh, enjoying the enjoying the night. I hope you've all had an amazing week, and uh, we're just gonna kind of have some fun, a couple laughs, maybe even shed a couple tears, and uh, just kind of breathe in the night and uh, just let it wash over us. Recently, I started taking an, uh, an improv class, and I felt that, um, I wish they did this, but, uh, with independent music, and, uh, that's, that's what I'm gonna do here tonight, um, I'm just looking at the chat right now, and, uh, if I can get somebody to give me a, uh, just a word, just, uh, or you know what, actually, I have a, I have a dictionary, I think I'll use, um, I should have got this out sooner. I'm a little unprepared just tonight, but if somebody could give me a, you know, a letter between A and G, and uh, just I'll find a word here. I'll just kind of pick one randomly and uh, inclusion, inclusion. So that's the word, inclusion. And uh, I'm looking at the chat, and the chat says F. Okay, F. All right. You know what? I always kind of struggle with the F chord, so uh, I'm gonna pick a. I'm gonna pick an A, an A, just because I, I don't want the base of the the song to be based in something that I'm I'm not the greatest with. <clears throat> Let's throw a capo on here, just kind of for fun, just to see where uh, just to see where the night takes us. Um, we're having some issues with it, so we'll see if that's still going to be a problem. Yep, it still is. Okay, A. And inclusion. Okay, let's improvise some 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 songs. Inclusion's a way to do it. Include your friends everywhere you go. Here. 
version is my name It's listed at the top of my job resume Inclusion was my mother's maiden name Which means that my name could have been Inclusion, Inclusion Don't break the illusion of inclusion Don't break the illusion of illusion If you want to be uncool, exclusion Illusion, illusion Hallucination Okay, that one doesn't work Hey everyone, your your these fucking spinning chairs and all. Go. Hey everyone, you're watching Anthony tonight. My name is Anthony Shepard. I'm your host for tonight. We're gonna be talking about the Oscars, the news, the new movies. We got Ethan Hawke with us tonight. It's gonna be a great time. So before we get to Ethan Hawke, we're gonna be talking about a little bit of a news segment. So Dimitri, the uh, <laughs> the influencer who's you know, taking TikTok and social media by storm, has just been sued for stealing from a homeless man. Now, I'm, I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure why he isn't just being arrested, because that kind of sounds like a crime to me. It sounds like a pretty terrible thing to do. But uh, Dimitri actually confessed accidentally on his Instagram story earlier today. So let's uh, let's take a look and let's look at his Instagram story. Alrighty, this is a good one to get started off with. Honestly, I think a hot dog is a sandwich. I think it's the best kind of sandwich. Cereal, I don't think it's soup, okay? It's milk, it's sugar and stuff. I don't think that qualifies as soup. I don't know what soup is, but like, you know. honestly, man, everybody's talking about the Oscars. I didn't watch the Oscars, but like Will Smith, his music slaps, so that's what I think. Oh, finally, like, oh, just a normal weird question. Um, honestly, like, my body count, I'd say, like, it's pretty high up there, honestly. I'd say, like, four. Ideal fruit salad, honestly, you gotta get lettuce in there, get some, like, I don't know, like, um, what's that, like, the white stuff, like, the ranch dressing, and maybe, like, some, like, pineapple? Okay, well, you know what, like, I know I said I'd answer everything, but, like, I'm literally doing that one right now, so like I don't. That's not even a question, okay? That ends with an exclamation mark, not a question mark. So that's not a question. I'm not. I'm not getting. Them. Well, the last movie I saw was Avengers, so I'd probably get snapped out and killed. What animal? Honestly, man, I'm a great like. I love dogs. I really, really love dogs. So I would probably go with like a Chihuahua or something like that. No. Okay. This like what? Maximum number of five-year-olds? Okay, honestly, like, I'm a nice guy. I'd probably let them win, but, like, if I was allowed to be, like, ruthless, I'd say, like, 600. I'm a fucking beast. What's an USB drive? I'm not telling you that. Okay, you know what? Like, Megaview and I used to be friends, but, like, lately he's been acting like a real jackass. Why does everyone want me to suffer? Like, what are you trying to do? i probably say cocaine. I mean, co Mom? Why is everyone asking me such weird questions? Stop asking me this. That's it. Okay, I'm not doing this shit anymore, okay? You guys are being really mean. I, I came on here with a good heart, and you guys are trying to, like, destroy it. It's What do you want from me? <laughs> okay, fine. Yes, I did, okay? I saw a guy. He was wearing a garbage bag. I thought he was just being a jerk and being stupid and being unfashionable. So I stole his cup of coffee that turned out to be all his money from that week. Wow. That was some crazy shit, I gotta say. Um... I'm allowed to swear because this is late night, late night television. All the kids have gone to bed. I know my producers don't necessarily agree with that. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want, okay? I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm going to call that segment Shithead of the Week. I'm going to call that segment, if you were feeling down about yourself, that guy's going to make you feel just a little bit better about yourself because you're not as bad as he is, okay? That's... Anyway, we're here with Ethan Hawke, who is 
one of my favorite actors, just to be totally honest with you. He's really down to earth. He's a little bit extremely pretentious, but that's okay because he's extremely down to earth at the same time, all right? Now, Ethan, you were telling me that this summer you went to an art festival. Oh, there's, there's just so much, so much art, Anthony. And, uh, you know, I, I wish I could just give some young, young people just advice, which is just, you know... Just do whatever the fuck you want because uh, no one, no one's watching. Nobody, nobody really knows who you are, and you know that's kind of a beautiful thing. You know, I'm I'm much more nervous and, and stressed out now. So okay, well I, I asked about an art festival. You didn't really give me that answer. You're talking about your own kind of artistic endeavors and whatnot, which I didn't I didn't really ask about. But because we're on the subject, why don't we why don't we talk about this? You said you did a you said last summer you did a play. With, uh, with, with the guy who played the Riddler. <laughs> and you know, last, last summer in New York, I, I, I did this, this play with, uh, with Paul Dano. Paul Dano. And, uh, I just, it, it, it was, it was, it had to be the greatest, you know, creative outlet I've ever, I've ever really seen. I, I played a, uh, a 13th century, uh, a painter named uh, named Christian Schlong. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you just say the guy's name was Christian Schlong? Is that what you just said? Christian. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I mispronounced it. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Oh my god, Christian Schlong. Christian. Sorry, let me say that again. Christian Schlong. I think that might be the name of my priest. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't say that? Come on, I'm making a joke. Oh my god, it's late night television. God. I want to stop for a second. I want to look at you, Wilson. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you thought what? You thought I wasn't going to bring you into this? This fucking shirt, man. I can't. You thought I was. Give me the fucking camera here. Right? You thought I wasn't going to talk to you? Really? You, you thought I wasn't going to address you? Because you're the dumbass who listens to Ethan Hawk over here, Ethan, Ethan Cock, Ethan full of himself. He is a, he's a pretentious person. You know what? You sound like that. You sound that stupid. Not that you sound stupid, Ethan. You're, you're a great guy. I, I think you're awesome. And I, I loved Before Midnight, but oh my God, man. You got to be aware of how, how, how silly you sound sometimes because you sound, you sound ridiculous. And, and you know what? Here's the thing. He's on this and I'm here. I'm here. All right. Because I know what you're, I know what you're thinking, buddy. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my God, why is an asshole like that getting to be successful when I could be writing books and doing all kinds of stuff, writing short stories, writing plays, writing screenplays maybe, and I'm an asshole who gets to work because I act like a piece of shit and people love it? Well, here's the thing, yeah. You don't fucking work hard enough, all right? You don't work hard enough at all. You are a fucking loser. Because all you do is sit around and just go, oh man, well I'm gonna write this and this and this, and you sit and you brainstorm and you do fucking nothing. You get absolutely nothing fucking done. And you know what? I started young, man. I started when I was four years old. I was ready to host late night television when I was four, so. That's it right there, okay? I think, I think That's it being right a there. Harsh, Anthony. Ethan, would you shut the fuck up right now? Oh my god, you are making it so hard not to. I'm sorry, Ethan, okay? I'm sorry. Back to you. You're never gonna make it. I'm making it because I'm fucking awesome. I have something that makes me different from everybody else. I'm an asshole and I like that. And people like that about me. People like seeing that. What do you have to offer? There's already 50 million writers out there, even more than that probably, who are fucking better, who have a better style than you do. You have nothing. You have absolutely nothing. At least I got a shtick. And yeah, I'm a dick. People don't like me. I fucking love it. And you don't have the balls to do that. You don't have the balls to be unliked by everybody, even the people you fucking work with. Because that's what you have to do to fucking make it. You have to be a fucking piece of shit. So suck on that. And anyway, um, we're going to get back into the Oscars in just a second. But first, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Buy some Nutella. 
it's on sale and it looks fucking awesome already. Anthony Live. Okay, I will say whatever I want. I don't care, all right? All she does is fucking support you and all you do is push her away. What the fuck is your problem? Huh? What the fuck is your problem? You don't fucking know, do you? We need to have a conversation, all right? We need to have a conversation. <sighs> I don't like where my head is at right now, all right? I feel shitty as hell. I feel like I'm a bad boyfriend. I feel like I'm a bad artist. I feel like I am getting older. I got nothing to show for. I don't like where my head is at right now. I feel very, very, very negative. And to be honest, I think it's all in my head. And this is not me just saying this. This is not other people's input. This is me saying genuinely, I think that this is all in my head and that I need to talk this shit out. And I know this is the only person that's gonna listen. And I'm telling you right now, this is fucking stupid that I'm recording myself talk about my issues, but, um, <sighs> I think it is necessary. So, that's what's gonna happen, all right? That's what's gonna happen. So, I don't know, man. Um, where do I begin? So what happened? What seems to be bothering me? You know, what seems to be bugging Wilson today? Aside from somebody didn't get my coffee order right this morning, and I'm still thinking about that. I got overcharged on a honey dip donut and didn't correct them because I was just too nice to try and bother the people at Tim Hortons. What is on my mind that is bothering me right now? Why am I unable to just enjoy myself and say yes to my lovely girlfriend who is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me? I want to be happy. I want to do good work. And I feel like I can't have both. And I do this stupid thing where I compare myself to everybody around me who's more successful, even though they're doing totally different things. And I see it as them taunting me and as them being like, oh, look at this. Look at this shit. Like, look at what we're doing. And what we have is what you want. And you can't have it. You can't have it because you're not good enough. Which is stupid. And, you know, I don't know. Like, I think in a way, part of it is probably a good thing. I'm going to fucking zip this up because it looks fucking stupid the way it is right now. I think some of it is a little bit of a good thing. I think it's, I think it's good to be critical about yourself because you need to improve. Everybody needs that. 
whether you want to admit it or not. Nobody, nobody's fucking perfect. But I'm taking it to the extent of I'm comparing myself to everybody else and thinking, oh man, well, because this person didn't, you know, have this. Uh, let me let me start again because I didn't have the same situation that this person had. I'm not going to make it, which is dumb. And I, I got to ask myself, what is it that I fucking want? Do I want to be famous? What is it? Because I see famous people and I see the way they act and they act like a bunch of fucking assholes, you know? Not that all famous people are assholes. There are people out there who are good. But what exactly am I trying to do and why do I feel... Like, my relationship is going to prevent me from getting there. And I think a part of it just goes back to the fear of commitment. I am... I don't think I'm lucky enough to have the best girlfriend in the world and a great career. I don't think I'm lucky enough. And I'm starting to think that maybe I also don't think I'm deserving enough. And why would I be? Because I, I don't seem to be a fucking good boyfriend either. I mean, my girlfriend gets me tons of gifts for Christmas and my birthday, and Valentine's Day, fucking St. Patrick's Day, even though I'm not Irish. And she's sweet and she likes to tell me how much she loves me all the time. And she likes to talk about my problems, even when I don't want to. But I'm sitting around and I'm focused on basically a career where I'm beating myself up, up every day because I'm not Hemingway. Instead of giving her the good boyfriend that I once thought I could be. I used to think that I would be like an incredible boyfriend when I'd be in a relationship. I used to think I'd be fucking fantastic. But I'm not. Like, like at all. Like I'm, I'm fine at best. On a good day, I'm fine. And it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. And, uh, It's been a while since I've had fun making art, you know? And I'm not good at being unhappy. And making art, you know, some people make great art when they're unhappy. And I'm not one of those people. But I keep thinking I'm going to make something great. And I'm thinking maybe I need my heart broken. Or maybe I need to feel guilty. But I feel guilty enough.
I haven't talked to my girlfriend all day, and today's been fucking miserable, man. That's either really sweet or really fucking codependent. I'm not sure. <laughs> Why the fuck did I record this? This is fucking crazy. I'm talking to myself about fucking something. And it's just like, what are we doing, man? What the fuck are we doing? Well, I better call my girlfriend and tell her I love her, because I do. Hey, um, it's me, obviously, and um, I'm leaving this message to tell you that, like always, you were right. And I, um, I think I'm going to take a little step away from writing for a bit. Um, I think what I'm doing is I'm spending so long. trying to figure out the next great story. And I, I don't think that I am really considering the fact that I'm not really being even a good person. And you know what? If I don't end up being the next, you know, <sighs> Charlie Kaufman, or Kaufman, however you say it. You know, I'm okay with that, but I want to be a good person, you know. And yes, of course, you know, the art means something to me, and it always will. And of course, I want to be a writer, and I want to be an artist, and I'm not giving up on that dream, but... I don't have to give up on that dream because I want to live with someone I love or settle down for a little bit or, you know, get a stable income because there's no shame in that, you know? And I don't want to ever make you feel like you are getting in the way of that because you're not. I love you, and I hope to talk to you soon, and we're going out to dinner and we're having a good time, because that's, that's what needs to happen. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. Take care. Have a good night. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. I'm in love with the world Through the eyes of a girl Still around the morning after We broke up a month ago And I grew up, I didn't know I'd be around the morning Always been a wait and see Happy day and then you pay And be like shit the morning after Now I feel changed around And it's then falling down I'm standing up the morning after And situations get fucked up Turned around sooner or later I 
could be another fool or an exception to the rule. You tell me the morning after. Crooked spins can't come to rest. I'm a damaged bad at best. She'll decide what she wants. I'll probably be the last to know. No one says until it shows. See how it is. And they want you or they don't. Say yes, I'm in love with the world. Through the eyes of a girl. Still around the morning after. Hope my neighbors aren't complaining. <laughs>